welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to stylish niger youtube channel i thank you for your love and for your support i really appreciate each and every one of you that have supported my youtube channel actually don't take it for granted if you are new to the channel you're highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also on the side to get an update whenever i upload a new video so that's just like basically the essence of hitting on that bell and then if you want to register for our online classes you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you all of the details of the classes we have available you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram all at stylish niger and then as you're watching this video you are going to see a join button so you can click on that join button to see um to be a member of stylish niger youtube channel here on youtube so just click on it and then you see all of the details of what we have available for our members okay guys so in today's video i'm so excited in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a cut together flare sleeve flare dress so you can see the picture on the thumbnail that i showed you earlier so that's what we're going to, so it's actually a it's like a circle dress and then the sleeve are also like flare so these are this is just what we're going to learn how to cut and sew today and then so we just need just two basic measurements which is the shoulder measurement that's the shoulder to the sleeve so the measurement is going to be from your shoulder that's from your back that's your center back that's where you place your tip and then you measure all away all along i say away all along from your across back to where you want your sleeve so this is just like basically what i mean like this you're just going to place your tip this way and then you measure it to where you want your sleeve to get to so that's the measurements that we're going to be using so for this mine i'm going to make it of 27 inches so it's going to run up to like this point here and then the length of your dress so these are just like the basic two measurements so now the fabric i'm going to be making is of i'm making use of a soft a very soft fabric and then this is about three yards so i'm going to show you how we're going to fold the fabric so you can see from my from this pattern paper so this is how i am going to so i'm trying okay so this is how i am going to fold my fabric i'm going to fold it at an angle just like a right angle triangle so this part now here is where i'm going to add that 27 inches to and then from here to the here i'll measure the length and then here to here the length so that's just basically how this is done so i'll fold my fabric now and then we are going to start okay guys so you can see i folded my fabric so just like i explained earlier i'm using this paper for you to understand so you can see i folded it at an angle so what we are literally going to do now on this pattern paper is this on this fabric is this so from this point i'm going to measure my armhole which is this point like this depends on how wide you want your flare to be so for mine i'm going to make use of about 15 inches so from this point to this point is about 15 inches i'll just put a mark here and then from this shoulder point i'll measure my chest my bust point line you can use your chest line anyone so which is 10 inches it's going to be around here that's around here and then from this point you from this point now you measure how wide you want the bust side to be because you need the measurement for that part so for this i'm going to use about my normal bust is 36 so i'm going to use about 40 or 42 so you mark it from this point to this point and then from this point you mark to that point and then once you mark to this point from here you're just going to make a curve and then you flay it out to this part like this so this part is not going to be entirely sharp like this so at the end of the day this is what we are going to have so we're going to have something like this so it depends on the length of the sleeve so it's going to come out like this so I just want you to know. So now we're going to work, do it now on our main actual piece. So like I explained, so this is the length of my dress, which is 39 inches. And then this is my across back, which is 27. So from this point, I'm going to come like this, the fillet that I'm going to use for this. So I'm going to mark 15 inches here. 
so this is my 15 inches i'll just note that and then i'll come back to this point i'll measure my bust point line which is 10 inches this is 10 inches here for my bust point so you can use chest line which is eight and then from this point now i'm going to measure how wide i want that chest part to be so like i said i'm using about 42 so i'll use 42 so i'll mark it here like divided into four so normally i'm supposed to use nine nine inches is my actual bust measurement which is 36 but since it is a free dress you are going to add allowance of, of about between three and four depends on how wide you want it to be you can add even five inches to it okay so you see what i have now so i had added about three inches on mine so it's like this so from this point now this is just to serve as a guide so you know how to to curve your flay so from this point now i'm going to make a slant to create that flay effect on my dress I'll make it up to this point now so you can see the shape of the sleeve and then from this point i'm going to make like a slant curve like this and then i'll flow it into this down part of my dress so i'll flow it into that down part so making sure that this is curved because if it is too sharp you might have issues when stitching so i'll curve it up to this point like that and then i'll continue with the full length of my of my dress i'm just going to continue i'll mark it around until i get to i get the entire length that i want for my dress so the next thing now on this point i'm going to come i'll mark my neckline so i hope you can see this let me check okay so i'll mark my neckline so it is a high neckline so i'm going to use three inches width and then the depth i'll use about two inches depth so i'll just mark a slant round neckline here like this so for the shoulder slope i'm not adding any shoulder slope it's still going to be okay so i'm going to cut this out now so this is how simple it is to cut this dress So you can see what i have here so this is what i'm going to so you see that it's looking like what we have so i'll use this i'll leave the neckline when i cut the back i'm going to so you can see what we have here so it depends so you can see it looks like what we have it is a very simple process so i'll cut out the back now and then cut out the neckline for you to see okay guys so i've cut the back and the front so now what i'm going to do i'm going to add the neckline so for the back neckline it is a high neckline so for the back neckline i'm just going to use just one inch to cut it out just like the way i explained and then just blend, blend the shoulder part together then for the front neckline so like i used two inches i'll just deepen it a little bit so because it is a high neckline so for the back what i'm going to do i'm just going to put a slit on the back neckline just a slit of about five inches so i'll be able to put it on so you can see it depends on how deep you want it to be you can make that deep so once i'm done i'm just going to use a chinese collar to place at the back like this so I'll be able to wear it. So the next thing now is the stitching part, which is a very simple process. So you just open both the back and the front. And then we're going to stitch them together. Okay, so here is how we're going to stitch it. It's a simple process, like I said. So I'll take it back to my machine and then I'm going to stitch 
on the shoulder line so you can notice so i need some i need to do some trims so it's a little the back part is the sleeve is looking a little bit too big so i'll just make sure i trim it make sure everything is the same so it will be easy for me and then i'll stitch the shoulder part and then stitch this part to the down part and then hem it down it is a very simple process and then for the back so like i said for this back i'm just going to fold it like this and then i will hem it so you can decide to use your hemming gum i actually have a video of this how to do this kind of finishing so you can use your hemming gum just to to lay it flat down so when i'm done joining the back and the front together for the neckline i'm just going to use the same fabric just turn out the neckline so i'll go and join it and then bring it back and show you and then show you how to turn the neck line okay guys so you can see so i finished stitching so this part this armhole area so after stitching just make sure you, you you trim it as close as possible and then you can put just tiny notches just to make that part to relax properly and then trim everything so for the neckline so i decided to add another color on this so this is what I, I was saying this is the chinese color that's what they called it when i got it's actually gotten from a regular tailor accessory shop so you're just going to so i'll just add it on the back neckline like this so this will just be like a a clip so i'll just teach it so it will be like something to secure it so i brought got the black and then i'll use this black bias to turn the neckline so just stitch it around it to turn the back neckline and then add this to this back so this will bring add a little color to it so i'm just going to go ahead i'll do that right now and then i'll place it on the mannequin for you to see the final look so for those that don't know how to turn with bias i actually have a video on this i've done it i did it some time ago so you stitch this around and then you just turn it in and then secure it neatly with a fine a clean stitch so this is actually not for somebody that is a beginner you need stable hands to do this so just please note okay guys at the end of the day so you can see how my circle dress and flare sleeve looks like so i noticed you know i actually use 15 inches for my sleeve that's the width of the down part of my sleeve so if you want something really big i think you should use about 30 inches so and if you are going to use 30 inches your fabric that you are going to use for this tie is going to be about four and a half yards to five yards of fabric please note so my sleeve is not is not looking very big but it's still is okay like this so if you want a very exaggerated sleeve use 30 inches width but if you want a modest one you can use the same 15 inches that i used for mine so thank you so much it actually came out well if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button <coughs> excuse me thank you so much guys i'll see you in my next video